Hello. I am showing you my Eight or eight kick point to point. Right. This is a simplified uh, eight or eight kick drum. Some of the simplifications are the trigger area. There's no need for an accent on this, so there's only one transistor there instead of the two that are on the original. Some of the capacitor values are, and resistor values are simplified, like 10K and 4.7K versus 8.2K and something else I don't remember. I tried to get them close to the right ratio. Um, all of these capacitors are uh, similar values. I tried to keep stuff simple. I changed some, you can see with the green, you know, additions. Um, this features the ability to change the pitch of the kick drum sound. Of course, the decay is tweaked. The decay values are tweaked right here to uh, feed back more powerfully, creating... This is basically a filter right here with those two capacitors at the top and the one mega ohm resistor in the feedback path. That makes the uh, this a filter with a very high... Q, which is uh, resonance. So if you, you know, hit it with a spike of voltage, like right there, you hit it with a spike of voltage and it responds in a very analogous way. There's that word analog to the way a, um, uh, a kick drum skin uh, oscillates back and forth. Of course, a kick drum skin doesn't have a power source. It can't you know, go into self-oscillation and keep oscillating. Um, this is an electronic, you know, device, so it does. You can add more power into it and keep it oscillating. The output stage is different too. The way I do the, uh, I should have put another resistor right where the camera is pointing. 10K because the way I have it set up here doesn't work very well. <clears throat> so then the output, and this is single-sided. Oh, I forgot to mention that it's a single-sided uh, design. So there's the positive coming in at the top with pin number one. Pin number two would be ground. That's what the VCC positive voltage and uh, the ground there is the ground symbol. Uh, this is the one of the op, op amps uh, creating a virtual ground. And that's what I use in the rest of the circuit for virtual ground. Here is a look at the actual circuit. <laughs> We don't need that light, I guess. The camera does an okay job. Um, you can see there in the middle, there is a TL074, basic quad op amp. The power is the red grabber. The black grabber is brown. This potentiometer does the decay amount. This potentiometer does the pitch. And this potentiometer which uh, does the um, tone. Now the tone, I have it modified or tweaked. Oh, there's also a switch. I forgot to mention when we were looking at the schematic that there is a clipper, because when you play, I mean, a sine wave is the quietest wave. It has its fundamental frequency, and that's it. There's no harmonics on a you know pure mathematical sine wave. So especially with a low note, you know, the... Uh, 808 kick, I believe, is about around 50, 53 hertz, something like that. A low pitch like that in a sine wave is a very smooth, uh, very, very quiet um, sound. To make it louder, you need to introduce some kind of distortion, which will, you know, create uh, harmonics that you can hear. This diode, you know, is in the feedback path of this final stage amp. It clips the output in a pretty hard way on one there's only that one diode. It only clips the top or the bottom. I can't remember which. Uh, let's see. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's, it sounds the same. So one of the half of the wave is clipped, making the um, 
kick drum sound much louder on small speakers. Of course, on big speakers, it'll also be louder because you're you got a lot of high frequency content, um, and that's gonna you know be more audible to the ear. Anyway, that's what that diode is for. I don't have a switch on this dually bopper. I just have that diode kind of connected right there. Maybe you can see the glass body of the diode in there somewhere. That's it right there. Yep. All right. So I don't have it switched. I just have that lead wrapped around that. So let's listen to this circuit. I'm going to turn it on. Hope nothing has decided to short. Also, the gain is too high. This is running on only 12 volts. The output buffer is gain is uh, doing a gain of two. So there's clipping both sides. Oops. Lower. Oop, that's higher. Lower. More decay. Ready? I think it's just going to keep going forever. <laughs> you can see there, the tops are totally clipped off. Turn down the resonance. Turn the So there you have my little point to point 808 kick drum. Let's make it sound as low as it goes. Oop. Left hand. Let's see if the tone softer. There we go, everybody. Yay!